Hello, so welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'm named Christina. Hope you guys are having a lovely day, or uh, wherever you guys are when you guys watch this and all that. And second of all, um, this will be uploaded later tonight because ever since Christmas season started, I've been working really a whole bunch. I know I told you guys this plan time, but again, you guys know I have a job outside of doing YouTube and everything and unfortunately that is my number one priority is job because I have to pay bills get stuff for me the kids my husband things like that so you know this is not necessarily my full-time job just quite yet and so yeah so I'm gonna be so yeah so sometimes excuse me sometimes reveals will come late Sometime they will come later that day because of, you know, my life chaos. It's Christmas season, holiday season, so everything is all rushy, rushy, and chaos, and try and get everything done. So, yeah. And another thing, everything on my face would be down below the description box and all that. But I decided to do a nice casual video today and show you guys everything that I possibly want to be planning for 2022. So, you guys know I do a yearly project pan, and I'm going to be doing a finale of it at the end of this month and all that. And then you guys will see the beginning of it, the 1st or 2nd of January and all that. So, yeah, that will be up. And, yeah, I just want to give you guys a little preview of what I am possibly going to pan, a wool plant pan and all that I just get my I've always got kind of the list going but I, I want to do this before I do the intro and all that so so first of all let's go to lips um I usually put lips in my project pans because I have so many and I love lips lip glosses lip tints lip oils somewhat liquid lipsticks with a creamy actual lipsticks if they're creamy I'm not willing to like that matte feeling like I used to be so yeah um so I have a whole bunch of lip glosses because that's one of my favorite type of lip product I love Valentine they're quick they're easy you can put them on anytime yeah you have to reapply but still so I come up with a whole bunch of lip glosses that are like either halfway done or close to being done or has holes in it or windows, things like that. So, these are all of my lip glosses that I'm planning on doing. Now, the thing with that is that I'm not going to set a goal. I'm not going to say, hey, I want to finish 12 lip glosses by the end of 2022. No, that's way too much and I've learned from panty expanse and from paint look products in my project pans they take a really long time to do and really long, a long time to use so what I decided is that I'm going to take these and possibly the goal for next year is to see how many I could finish and I'll mark them down and I will if I get done let's just say one of the this one right here is like literally halfway done. This is like the Gigi Gorgeous brand that um, Ipsy, he, she collaborated with Ipsy a while back. So yeah, let's just say if I get this done by the, you know, sometime next year or before the end of next year, then I'm going to mark this done and out. I'm going to count how many I have total, then be like, hey, I marked it down and my updates are going to be every two months. So if I have any ifties or anything, anyone that close to being done or uh, less than halfway full, then I'll show them. But yeah, because frankly, I love lip glosses, but I need to get rid of some of my lip products. They are the big thing in my inventory and I will be doing inventory next month also. Collection one. So that's part of it. So yeah. The stuff that I choose, which is also all in this box, is because either they need to get more use out of it, or they just don't work for me, and I really want to get done with them, and not waste them, or declutter them, and waste my money, and all that. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and go through this. I have several ones in different 
categories. So, for primer, I got one primer, yeah. This is the Ultra Matte Primer and Mattify Face Primer. I did actually a Ultra Full Face and a Sephora Full Face, so I'll link that up above that way you guys can see when I bought this in my first impressions and have liked it since then. And how I like it then is that it's supposed to control shine and blow pores. Now, what I realize is that this is very like silicone. This is silicone in it. And what I learned by silicone is that it's not good for oily skin. It breaks the pore out, it makes you break out more and claws it up. And frankly, I'm trying to stay away from pimples, all that. Luckily, my face has been doing good. I don't know because I'm going to stay away from that or because I have good skincare routine or the products I'm using is actually working for me. So, yeah. I'm going to be using this, but if I do buy a project paint, it ain't going to be like every single day or every time I film, which I pretty much the only time I really wear makeup is when I film, because a lot of time, again, I'm working, so not wearing makeup while I'm working. Um, so yeah. So I am going to use this probably a lot, because frankly, I don't want my claws to pour, and I don't want to go back to that, because my face is actually doing good right now it's almost to that combo dry type texture to where the cold is getting and it's getting colder now it was not getting cold it was warm now past few days it's being cold and it's actually starting to feel like winter and all that my face get a little more drier but still I don't like the feel of it I don't like the um it doesn't do anything but I want to get rid of it because literally I feel like it's halfway done. And I just want to get rid of the products that I'm not really a big fan of. And then keep the ones I am a big fan of. And really like and really enjoy. And that way I have those at my holy grail. And get rid of the ones that are not my holy grail. But yeah. Okay. I got one foundation. This is the YSL All Hour Foundation Oxide Sunscreen Up to 24 Hour Flawless Matte Full Coverage All Free. I like it. This is what it looked like. Most, my most expensive one I've ever bought. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty pricey. Um, I do like it. It is full coverage. It does make me look beautiful. It is a flawless type finish. Does it go on my small lines? Does it go on lines? last a long time my skin but the only problem I have with this which I've saw reviews when this first came out and a lot of people were saying this is that it oxidizes big time if you buy your shade which I got mine in almond and actually technically this was to by next year that no reason why I want to use it up you and then if you put like a tinted setting powder or anything like that on top of it my expanse is that it will go up a shade one or two like you will look shade or two darker than what you really are so what I've learned from this and by working with it and trying different powders I have the only one that works with this if I put it on is a translucent powder no, powder had no tint whatsoever because if a tinted powder for me goes on top of this and a lot of people again have said this when they first got it it will make me look like a medium not because my shade is neutral always go I don't go to like I go light neutral I'm not fair I'm not tan, I'm not medium, I'm kind of the light neutral type thing. So I always go light neutral. This makes me look like I am a two shade deeper than who I really am if I use, again, a tinted powder. This is the reason why I like it, but I don't. And I just kind of want to get rid of it. It's expensive and I like YSL products. I've used quite a few of them but I like their full coverage. I like how it looks. I like that it looks great on my skin but I don't like the fact that it makes me look 
tin two shades deeper. And I don't like the fact that I can only use certain type powders with this. So, yeah. This is probably going to be one of my project medium because of it expiring, you guys could see soon. So, I do kind of want to get, I kind of want to get used out of my older foundations that are pretty, not old, old to me, but are not newish to me. Like the ones that I didn't buy this year, the ones I bought you maybe last year, a year before that. So, yeah. Definitely want, because I'm going to buy this last year actually. And I was like, ooh, I'm so excited. But, yeah, I like the fact that I did that. And I know it has sunscreen in it, and I know it does say oxidize. But I have a lot of foundation I sunscreen in, and they don't do that to me. So, yeah. Okay, next is Casillas. I do have two Casillas. One I really do like, but I need, I need to get done with it. I've been trying to get done with this for years, and... For a few years in mm. you know one of my favorite uh, concealers so this is the instant age rewind concealer so it look like this is how much I have right here I don't have literally that much to go so I only have only less than half a container to go and this is one that has like the sponge I really do like, I have two shades, I have light, I have medium. Light I like using underneath my eyes, medium I like using around my nose, uh, blemishes, uh, if I got pimples, things like that. But they are really good concealers, very blendable, they last for a long time, they don't crease, they are beautiful and I like it. But I need to get rid of it because I've just been in my collection way too long and I have other ones I want to use up before I start buying new concealers, foundation, all that. And that reason why I'm kind of not going to buy anything and I'm going to do one last shopping spree for next year. I get my tax money, one last shopping spree, and then I'm going to start using my stuff a big time so they won't be sitting in my collection and going bad and all that. So yeah. So this is one thing I kind of want to use up just because of how low and how little I have left. Another thing is that I really do like this. This is a Nars Radius Cream Concealer. You can see there is a hole, a window. But the only problem is that it's a little too deep for me. And it's a little too deep. And it seems like it's going to be okay. But, I don't know. That's the shade right there. But, it's okay concealer. It's not one of my favorite ones, but... I just really want to, this is one of my oldest concealers too, that I've had for a while, and again, I just need to get done with it, and and if I don't have less concealers, possibly I may, which we buy this, but until then, again, I need to use this up, so, yeah. A shade I'm not a big fan of, because it just seems like it's way too, a little bit too deep for me. Okay, next for, oh, we got one more thing. Actually, I have one more more. No, that's the powder. Okay, one more thing is this Bobbi Brown Face Erase. This is actually like a moisturizer and a primer at the same time. You can see I have that much left. I almost have like a little window down there. But this is a very good, I really do like it. It's a very good moisturizing type primer. And I have one that I really do like by Pure Least. But I do have a backup of this, so I need to get done with it so I can use the other one and not have that set for a long time. But it's a really good one, and I really do enjoy it. But again, I need to get used to it because I do have a backup on it. And it works really well and everything, and it, smell, it smells good too. But it just gives you that beautiful... Healthy Glow Type 1. See? So, I do like it, but again, I need to get more use out of it. Okay, next we have powder. And I tried to pick cat pick one of each category if I put it in my project paints. I don't want to have too many. I still have my fall and winter project paint I'm doing. I still have other project pans that I need to get done with this year and still working on it because next year I might end up just having two at the most. 
and just because I do test out a lot of things, I do for suppressions, I do get a lot of things from my subscription boxes, things like that. So, yeah, kind of need to slow down on my project pan a little bit and focus on ones that are more like yearly type thing or seasonal type things and things like that. So, that reason why I'm kind of picky on what products I possibly put in there and how many I put in there. Okay, for powder, I have two. One is the CoverGirl Healthy Violet Powder. This is something I had for a long time. It's great. I have mine in classic ivory and everything. I kind of have this all over my face as like a powder foundation, which I don't hardly ever do. I do that. I always use these to, just to make extra coverage, or to set my face, everything. This, on the other hand, don't set my face whatsoever. I feel like it does not do a good job for my only skin what it needs to be doing. Now, I'm fine during the fall and winter when my skin is getting less oily. But during some spring and summer when my skin is more oily, it's kind of like, mm, yeah. So, that's another reason I want to use it up. I just want to hit pan and see how much I can use up during the next year and see, hey, can I use this all up or do I just hit pan and then probably declutter it and all that. Next is this AOA still I actually did again a full face of a Shop Miss A. This been a while since I done that. So if you guys want to link that up there, then I could do that too. But I've got eyeshadow, powder, lip products, face products, things like that. And the two things I got from there was number one, this AOA um A Study Spray Lucky Makeup. I don't like this. Does wonk doesn't feel like it set my face. It feel like that. It doesn't keep my holes in place or anything like that. So I kind of do want to get rid of it. And I know I'm about. I know you guys probably won't see. But I'm about right there in a way. Like I can see it even though there's like really pink packaging. But I'm about right there. I'm like a little bit below where it says how to use. I just want to get rid of it. I want to get done. You guys know my holy grail is the Milani one. On the O Decay. I use the Elf one. I would have that instead of that one. So yeah. Another thing is the AOA Studio Perfect Same Powder. Again, I don't like it. It didn't do it. It didn't work. And this is what the powder looked like. Ooh, it su sucks. So you can see. I'm about right there. I'm almost a little bit halfway done with this. But I think if I put it in there, use it for underneath the eyes, I'd probably use the cover goal for the face, and then, you know, I'll get more use out of it and more, um, that way I just get it done out of it. Also got a lot of powders also that I really need to get through too. So, okay. Then for blush, oh, we have one more silver sign. This is the Sephora Concealer. It's the Brightening Future Gel Type 1. I have mine in custard. Again, this ain't that bad compared to um, what the NARS one is. This ain't as deep as the NARS one. So that's the Nars, that's the um, Sephora one. It's a little bit lighter than the Nars one, but I could really work with the Sephora one better I can the Nars one. So again, it's not because again, I did do a full face of Sephora again. I'll link both Sephora, Ultra, and the Shop Missé up there, guys. Shop Missé is a very good brand. It has like products in there for like one, two dollars. They do got good brands, don't get me wrong, they do. I did get some good ones. But some of them were like, hmm. Okay, so, yeah. So, I like it, but it's not one of my favorite concealers. And I like a lot of Sephora stuff, so, again, I just want to get used more out of my concealers in my products and get them kind of low on the total pole. Now, as I said before, I have blushes. So, 
now the two blush number one mm, not a big fan of now I like ColourPop and I like the Shupa stock cheek highlighters and the shadows but when it comes to the cream blushes um no this one I got because number one they came out with the Candyland um theme which I really wanted to get that Candyland and I was pretty hoping I could get it but I didn't because I love Candyland I told you guys in all these uh, my past videos how much I'm a big fan of Candyland I used to play when I was a kid. My kids played it. So, you know, it kind of... That's my childhood memory that I grew up with. Sorry. So, again, I'm very emotional during this time. But, yeah. So, I did at least get one thing from that collection. And that was a Color Land... Color Pop Land 1. And this is in Gumdrop. I thought it was like a... a it smells amazingly. A beautiful, like purpley type tone I think it'll be great for winter and all that because you know during winter you kind of do like a deeper shade and kind of like you make your cheeks look like you come out of the coat type look so I think it would be perfect this is the color but when I put it on my hand or when I put it on my face I could barely see it and I could barely and I know, these, I keep the lids on tight, because I've heard that you have to keep on tight, because if you don't, they will go bad, because my highlighters are still looking good, and I have them for a while, I had them for a while, so, yeah. I know that ain't the case. It's not drying out. It's just the color. Once I blend it away, it's really too light for me, and it looks... I don't know if the color does look like on the shade or how light it is, but it just, even though I love smell because it does smell like candy, big time. But yeah, I want to get more use out of it. I want to play with this some more and I want to, you know, see how I can make this work. If not, I might just keep this at a collector item, but yeah, so possibility. The other one that I got is a press powder, and this one is when they had the Bloom Collection. A call supposed to be tan, at my heart, but Terry said tearing at my heart. It's Terry. So yeah, this is a beautiful like neutral type shade. I've actually got this on my cheek, and you somewhat can see it. But anyways, this is very like a neutral type shade. And I'm not a big fan of neutral, but I think this is so freaking beautiful. That's the shade right there. Compared to this, to this, this shows up a lot more than that one does. And, and I love the pattern. You can see like I'm almost got when like the embrace and boss of the flower. But yeah. Again, I just want to get more use out of it. But if I choose between the two, I would choose this one over that. Just my opinion. And I like the press ones when it comes to the cheeks a lot better than I do the cream ones. And it probably because of the shade I got and stuff like that. If I, I'm sure if I got a different shade that is a lot more pinky, neutral type tone, then it'll work a lot better. But, you know, we'll see. Okay, two highlights. One of them you guys have already talked about is Lunch Money. This is something that is very beautiful. And when you have the spark and everything. So, yeah. But this one look like it's a very beautiful, golden, neutral type shade. Works very well on me. Still is very creamy, very good. But I really want to hit pan on this. I saw a lot of people hit pan on ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Shadows. So, yeah. Now one is kind of the same um, color, which is the Wonder Beauty one, After Hour. This I just had for a long time, and it's very beautiful. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's as smooth and creamy as that other one. But, again, had for a long time, and... 
I need to get more use out of it. And I want to see, you know, because if I choose one, again, between that and the um, Wonder Beauty Afterglow, I would choose this one. This was a little more brighter, a little more glowy, and it makes you look amazingly and beautiful. I have the one here on, but you can see it's not as bright and doesn't pop as much as the ColourPop one. Again, if I had to choose, the ColourPop one will be the one I would choose over this. And there's a lot of other powder highlights that I love, enjoy, and the dust of popping and dust of major glowing, which I do enjoy. Because I'm like, even though I have the only skin, I still want to glow here and here and everywhere. I don't want to be only shiny everywhere. I just want to glow where, you know, the sun hits my face and where it's beautiful and all that. So, yeah, if it doesn't give me, like, the wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type glow, then I'm like, uh, yeah. So, it's a good one. It works. It just, yeah, I may, I may just pan it and say goodbye to it because I probably will not reach it. Okay. I do want to get one of my, um, I do want to get down on my, um, eyebrow tinted gel. I do have the Coastal one. I have the Benefit one and all that. And I want to just have one. And I do want to try more out, but again, I just want to have one for now. And so, yeah, I kind of want to pan this one right here, my uh, Benefit one. Because I do actually have back of, of the Elf, the Benefit, and, well, and that's it. So I do have backups of my brow tint. So, you can see, the uh, all well off and everything, beautiful, but I kind of want to get down to this because I feel like it's actually almost out. It still has like, you know, a little bit of stuff on it, but I just want to get it out. It's beautiful, looks great on my eyes, you can see, but I want to get down to having not as many gel tints. Okay, I did pick two eyeshadow well one's a face. I wanted to get some face palettes in this too. And all that. So I did pick the e.l.f. Um, Rose Sunset. Go Sunset. Beautiful. I usually use this during the summer because it has like the beautiful pinks and purples and browns and all that during the summer. But yeah, I want to get more use out of that. I want to, and then I decided to pick this one, the Wonderless, which is on my face. Only use on one eye look shadow, but see, beautiful. But yeah, it has a highlight, eyes, and blush. And I just want to get more use out of this and see, again, how far I can go and can I hit pan on a shade. We'll see. I did decide to do pick out some little shadows. These again have been in my collection for really long for a while and I'm not a willing big fan of liquid shadows. I used to be one and I figured hey that'd be a great one eye look. But the more I got older and the more I started wearing more makeup, I really said I prefer a palette over a single shadow. I mean over a liquid shadow. So even single shadows. So I'm not a willing big fan of single shadows. A liquid eyeshadows I haven't bought any for a while and I'm like mm. so I did pick three out that I possibly want to put in there just to start getting them down and start getting them out of my collection one of them is the Milani one which I think is dry because I feel like it's dry but this is the Milani Hypnotic light one I'm sure it does sold it's not sold anymore anywhere but this is in the shade Prima Rose. It's like a very like oceanly, sparkly blue. See, I am like literally almost done with it. But um, I want to get I want to get the stuff out of my collect out because you know what's the point of me having this if I don't use it? So I'm like, yeah. And the two is from um, Black Radiant. Again, it's it is blue. This is more like a sky blue. And more like a ocean blue. But these two I'll call it gold and scarlet. Again, they're beautiful. 
They work really well. They don't smear. They don't crumble. They do great on the eyes and everything. And it's a great one look shadow. One look liquid eyeshadow. But yeah. I just want to. Yeah. I just want to get them out. Another one I just want to finish up. This is a creamy eyeshadow. And I really do enjoy this. And this is from Ace Beauty. You guys can see I have hit pan. Um, I just want to get out of my collection. It's. I just want to finish it. I want to see, can I finish this? Because this, again, awesome one look eye, creamy eyeshadow look. And this is in Ice Latte. I do have another one called uh, Cotton Candy. Beautiful during the summer. This I love during the fall, winter. But, again, I just want to finish this. See if I can finish it all and all that. But I kind of do want to cut down on my cream shadows, on my single shadows, and liquid shadows. And I think that, oh, yeah, also have one bronzer that I'm thinking about putting in, in Park Avenue Princess. One of the oldie but goodie classic bronzers from Tarte. And I have bronzers, again, I love enjoying. And not that I'm not a big fan of it, and it does a great job, but I do have the Hula bronzer. I have the um, Colourpop Coconut bronzer. I have the Marc Jacob bronzer. I have... Um, this one, and a lot of them do look the same, compare the same, and all that, so I don't need all four or all three of them. So I want to at least get possibly one of them out of my collection, and get more use out of it, and all that. And that is about it for everything that I'm possibly going to be putting in my project pan. Now, again, you guys will see this, the finale from this year, 2021 project pan, at the end of December and then you guys will see the beginning the intro to my January yearly launch of pan yearly long project pan for 2022 so yeah I'll get this all planned set motion wrote down and all that so yeah and I'll tell you my goals what I want to do and everything but I figure you know this will give you guys kind of ideal what to expect and what to, what you'll possibly see in that project pan next year. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing what you could, what I'm choosing and what I could choose and everything. If you guys have any ideals, any one that you do enjoy or want me to put in a project pan, just comment that down below. That way I know, I mean, I want you guys to be part of it and I want you guys to, you know, I want you products that all that and I could possibly do a um one last getaway with me using my 2021 project pan before I do the finale of that so you guys want to see a look with the ones I've always picked out and the ones I've always you know decided to try to hit goal or hit pan for this year then comment that down below but that is everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and everything. My name is Christina. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because I do upload every weekend and Wednesday. I do. So, yeah. And again, this will be a late one. So, I will. You guys will see it at the intro and all that. But until then, have a lovely day and night. I where you guys are. And I'll see you later. Bye. Sweet inside me Throw it out and cut and cut Made a little potion for you